Welcome to the stage of Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre, a.k.a. Dr. Frank Bryant's office. He is here with me now in the shape of Stephen Tomkinson. How are you doing? I'm very well. Good evening. Good to have you here. It's lovely to be here. Now, we are taking questions. We are watching the Facebook Live. So if you do want to ask us anything for Stephen, or myself, mostly Stephen, to be fair, then uh, we can have a little <laughs> bit of a chat and uh, bring your questions to him. But, I mean, it's a lovely set to begin with, isn't it? It is. It's gorgeous. It does, it does become a, a home from home, as it were. Oh, in study. You, you're sat behind your desk, and obviously it's, it's, it's battered and, and well-loved, and the set designers just really have done a great job with it. And we're loving the rotary telephone, which probably means nothing to many of the Oh, audience. well, exactly, yes. It would be, it'd be new to some people, but, uh, yeah, it's very... And there's, uh, there's one very good little uh, homage. Can I get up and move you, around? You can, you can move around. Right, I'll show you, I'll show you something. Frank's uh, teaching certificate. OK, whereabouts are we which then? Which is up here. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's up on the wall. It is. And can, can you see we've, we've got to sign it at the bottom? Vice Chancellor and Chairman of the Academic Board, Michael Kane. There you go. That is quality. And be, in, in, <laughs> a with, little homage. It is, and it must be quite daunting coming to a, a part that's so well loved and played by him in film. Yes. But having been a stage play first, I suppose you, you know, you'd say if I need exactly. to lay, lay claim over it. Yes, yes, if most, most people have... Uh, I've seen the film, but uh, but the the play came first, absolutely, mm -hmm. and it's and it's just the one setting for the for the play, and this is it, mm -hmm. and it's just the two characters, and you follow their academic year on over um, seventeen scenes, and it's uh, it's amazing how how involved the audience become. Well, I've not seen the film, and I, I never want to see the film, but I don't want to take away from your portrayal of Frank because. There you go. It, we, we, we know you, we know you very well, we've seen you on TV so much, normally with the, as, as a vicar, strangely, but um, <laughs> there seemed to be a theme there, but you know, it, it's, uh, it is great to get your teeth into a role like this, I'm going to guess. Oh, it's lovely, yeah, and, and, and Willie wrote uh, an amazing play, which is why it's lasted for 40 years, and uh, I, I think we just wanted to remind people what a brilliant job he did then and why it's still relevant now. And has he been involved in this production? Yes, he was, he was there every week of rehearsal from sort of mon Monday to Wednesday. And then he'd go away a bit and then come back. And, <laughs> and he wasn't at all precious about his script. He, he realises that audiences have changed over the 40 years since he, he right. wrote it. and Don't need to be sort of spoon-fed as much information or have as much repetition as they used to be in the play. So we, we lost about 20 minutes. Well, I, I like the references of the time, but still were relevant today. Things like Yates' Wine Lodge coming in. Yes. There. I mean, that, that sort of stuff. And, and that really makes you feel as part of the show. Everything from the rotary telephone, which of course everyone still had in their home in the 80s and, and, uh, and would have been office. Along like with their telephone table. Yes, well, they, and they, that would be essential part that of certainly furniture. Would. Completely gone there. You have a yeah. mounting thing to charge it on in the corner, don't you? So, it's, not the same. Uh, it's not, is it? <laughs> but the, the, there are real books uh, around us here and they make up the whole set. Do we know how many there are? Is it, has anyone counted? I'm not sure in total. There's a, there's a good few. I mean, I, I managed to fill three tea chests full in <laughs> record time, and I haven't even scratched the surface. But no, no, it's a lovely set, and it makes you makes you feel ready for work as soon as you come onto it. And so th from the opening moments, though, we we see bottles appearing from everywhere. And Indeed. It's, we, we don't get the full uh, hit of, of, of all of that until Frank's uh, a continuation throughout the show and, yes. the, and the way in which he sort of falls more into the world of alcohol. And, and that, it must be interesting to play. We, we see it as a bit of fun, but there's a really serious message behind all of this. Well, yes, and, you know, and Willie's clever enough to have him point out all his pitfalls, although he does it while talking about another play that Rita's gone to see, uh -huh. but he's echoing his own life and the tragedy of his own life. And that there are there are always warnings there in tragedy that but the character can't stop they still go <laughs> towards their own, and he's describing himself. And with uh, Jessica's role as Rita, Susan, however we we, we name her, but uh, the the transition there, I mean, you get pretty much the same outfit throughout. There's, pretty, there's not much I of a have, change. I have two two changes of tie, a <laughs> shirt change, and a, and a, a, well, I do have a jacket and trousers. Yeah, there is a change. jacket. Yeah. But, but Jess is changing every scene. She's amazing, bless her. And that, again, I think th th that progression is something which on stage feels more real than it would do in a film. You expect it yes. in a film, but you don't exactly. necessarily expect it on stage. No, no, it's great. And it rings the changes and the, you know, the passage of time very well indeed. And her development as a character of, 
how she's getting on on this, this journey for self-enlightenment. What surprised you most about playing the part? Um, well, that I was the right age to play it, suddenly. <laughs> I've been reading it since I was 14. So uh, suddenly came, came back to it after, after meeting Jess up in Newcastle, and she was doing a play uh, called Goth Weekend at Live Theatre in Newcastle, and I was re-rehearsing a uh, production of Patrick Marber's The Red Lion before we transferred to London. And we met up and, and I asked her what she'd been doing, and she said she played Rita before, but only um, for a week at the Gala Theatre in Durham. Mm -hmm. And she'd love to have a, a much bigger run at it. And she said, and you'd be a great Frank. So I, I went back to it, and yes, lo and behold, I'm now the right age <laughs> that Willie describes. Um, and I, but I, I think the, the, the real challenge is keeping all of those 14 scenes very exciting. You know, you, you're aware that when you're in just the one set, mm -hmm. that people get used to that very quickly. And, and it's just the two of you. So you've, you've got to do your, your darndest to keep the, keep the ball in the air and keep the, all the themes that Willie intended going. But this is where the chemistry comes in, and I think that works really well. You, 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 it is completely believable. Oh, well, well, I hope so. Yeah. It, it is completely believable. Thank if you. If you haven't seen it, come and see it. Thank you very much. But with, with, say, the intricacies of the set, with the intricacies of the, of the characters, which do you think stands out, what, what bit stands out most for you? Willie's writing. It is, it is a writing. Absolutely, that really... it's his writing. He, you know, he said he wanted to make it, uh, even though it's set in the world of academia, and mm -hmm. you know, which could be off-putting to some people, but he's made it accessible to everyone, and both characters are very autobiographical for him. Mm. He, he was a, a ladies' hairdresser himself for a number of years before he then went back into education and then became a teacher as well before the, the writing started. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he was certainly writing about what, what he knew. <laughs> and uh, and, and it's, it's lovely. The, the journey's fascinating and people don't pick sides. They go on the journey with both of them together, which is always lovely. And um, questions coming through. I mean, James is saying, has, has the play uh, evolved since the tour started back in April? I mean, have you seen it, it, any tweaks going on? Um, well, little bits, yeah, because uh, always with a comedy when you're doing it's the audience that teach you where the laughs are and, <laughs> and when you can put your foot on the accelerator and on the brake. So, yeah, we're, we're constantly learning. And, and, and being that you only get a week in each, as soon as you just start to get used to one sort of type of audience, it all changes again. So yeah, you're you're always you're always very much kept on your toes, and that's that's what makes it exciting. And do you, in, in university towns, you see it a bit different as well, because obviously the Open University is a global brand. I mean, people yes. across the globe are studying with them, so mm -hmm. it's something that's known. This play can travel, and they'll pick up on that on, on that sort of thing. But do you think it, it, do you get a different feel when there are students around the audience too? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been because the play's been on A level syllabus mm -hmm. for quite a while as well, so it's. It's lovely that, it, that we get such a, a mixture in the audience um, and that, that people have such uh, empathy for, for both characters and the kind of the unrequited love story as well is, is beautifully told. So it, it's, a, it's a great development and a great journey that the two of them go from, from start to finish and uh, they're both very codependent on one another. And you're grateful that you're the right age, I take it? Yes, very, <laughs> very. I've earned my stripes now. Oh, and what else is going on in your world at the moment? Because, I mean, theatre is obviously a, a big part of your life and, and pretty much always has been. It, yes, and uh, especially over the last year or so, I've been uh, lucky enough to be involved with David Pugh and Dafford Rogers, our producers. We've done a couple of uh, tours of art of late, interspersed with me uh, being at the Old Vic and playing Scrooge in A Christmas Carol for Matthew Waters. Again, the age thing there, is that correct? Again, yeah, what are they saying? <laughs> um, and, and then, you know, I, I was uh, performing art in the evening, rehearsing this during the day. So it's, it's been a good ten months of solid theatre with three amazing scripts and three very, very different parts. So and it's the variety of, of the stuff that keeps me excited. And how many times have you been to Wolverhampton? Is this, the, this is the first. Is it, I thought it may have been. It's the first I've been to the Grand here, yeah. So I'm, I'm and it's a beautiful theatre, it really is, and the audience last night were incredible. I was part of that audience, we had a great time, I you think it's, it's what was on stage that helped. And it's one of the, sometimes you worry to play whether you'll be able to hear it when there's no microphones, because microphones really wouldn't work with this, would it? No, you, 
No, but, it's, it's, it's quite an intimate set. Mm -hmm. But when you've got two actors who are used to theatre as well as appearing on set on screen, uh, it, 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 it works well, and so every word is audible. Well, it's, it's also a beautifully designed theatre for the acoustic, so every level hears everything at the same time, and, it's, and you, know, you, know, you can tell when the audience are with you and they're not struggling for it. You know, to pick up anything you're saying, so it's it's very nice. What else do you take away from this? Um, well, I th you know, we'd we'd be happy to play more theatres with it if if uh, if David wants to have another go at it next year. Um, <laughs> um, it's I think we've set out what we wanted to achieve, reminding people what a great play that Willie wrote. Jess and I are very much in the groove in terms of trusting one another and uh, really enjoying the. Uh, playing against and off one another as well and it's uh, no it's, it's been a delightful job I should be very sad when it ends but but as I say maybe there might be some more dates next year okay we'll see what happens we have you right the way through until the 13th of July here at Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre is this coming Saturday 01902 429212 is the box office number grandtheatre.co.uk to get your tickets online but loads of lovely comments coming through uh, Kate Christie saying she always wanted to see you live and was not disappointed so oh, thank you very much wave to Kate please That'd thank be, you Kate there we go that's especially for you and uh, this you know, general reaction saying how great the play was and everybody loving it which is understandable as I say come along get your tickets you've got until Saturday. Stephen, thank you for having another chat. Thank you very much. Thank you.